All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, disable our keep and bounding regions on, and we're going to move down now down to keep by normals. So when we turn this on, the first option that we have here is a back face from. And what this is really great for, if we come back up one level and we place down a camera, all right, and we move this camera to a slightly different position. And to do that, I'm going to select my camera here within my viewport, lock my viewport and scroll out a little bit. All right, so if we position our camera somewhere and let's also go ahead and place down a light and I will just unlock that as well. And I'm gonna leave the light off because we don't actually need uh, the light for this. This is just to demonstrate what our group node can do with cameras and lights. And again, we're just going to transform this light. So I'm going to use my uh, my transform tool and just move it out a little bit. And we'll go ahead and turn this light into a grid light for now. All right, and coming back into our geometry. So this back face from is an area where we can select an object. So let's go ahead and choose the camera. And now if we take a look from the camera and where it's pointing, <clears throat> I'm just going to change our group back to primitives as well to make this a little bit more obvious. So from the direction that our camera is pointing, the group node is figuring out which normals on our primitives are facing away from that direction, and it's grouping those together. Uh, we can also change this to be the light as well. So coming down here, we can select our highlight, and you'll see here we now have uh, all of our primitives facing away from that light as well. So a really great way for you to identify um, groups based on their normal facing away from objects. And this could also be useful for um, really high resolution renders if you need to try and uh, cull some of the geometry in your render to, to save some render time. You could back face from the camera and do things like lower the uh, texture resolution or even remove those primitives completely. So uh, let's just remove the highlight from our back face. And now another option we have here is to keep binomials in a certain direction. So at the moment we're telling the group node to keep direction of Z, positive Z, but it's collecting all of them because of the spread angle value. So we can decrease that spread angle value and you'll see now we're, we're uh, keeping faces only within the normal facing uh, of Z. And if you're not too sure what I mean by normals, we can display the primitive normals here, and these are a, a direction in which the primitives are facing. So this is another great way to be able to see which ones will be collected based on your uh, spread angle as well.